We are in the middle of a major conflict, therefore what we are doing in Afghanistan is not peacekeeping. The recent wars in Afghanistan and Iraq were done uh, uh, against the United Nations authority, without United Nations authority. They're aggressive wars. The Afghanistan war was an aggressive war, and the Iraq war was an aggressive war. These are major international countries. See hundreds of thousands of people dead. These were, uh, these were wars that were justified originally on the possible precedent. Canadians just sort of unwittingly, merrily go along with what the United States wanted, and we get drawn into this stuff. What the United States needed was a series of allies to, to give it a bilateral sense, to give it a sense that the entire world was supporting this war on Afghanistan and this invasion of, of Afghanistan, and that's what Canada provided. And so we could end up defending pipeline corridors through Afghanistan, because you know where the route goes? I couldn't believe it. When we actually looked at the maps, where the route goes, it starts in Turkmenistan, goes right through Hare Province, right down the highway, through Kandahar, and right into Pakistan, through the heart of the, where, and if you overlay it with where all the Canadian soldiers have been killed, it's right along the same path. Because it's a, it's a main highway corridor, where all the fighting happens there, and where the pipeline would go. The Americans are doing the same old game it's all about energy politics. It's a great game of the great energy game. Kretschian has spent a lot of time in Turkmenistan, I've got to say, since he left office. He's now a lobbyist for some energy companies and goes to Turkmenistan regularly. 